The next step in checking our data is to check that there's no crossing brake lines. We do this under the option TINS, Check Brake Lines. The data that we're going to check is view number one. And we're going to be checking for any intersecting strings with valid heights. Any intersections we do find, we will put into a model called X Brake Lines doesn't really matter what we call it because we will delete it later on and we'll give our report file the same name so we can just highlight that and copy and paste that down there and we want to clean the models out beforehand we click on check this will open up a report file which shows that we have two intersections doesn't tell us where they are, well it does, it gives us the coordinates but would be a little bit too difficult to determine that. So back inside of 12D, if I just move this panel out of the way, keep it open, but we don't want to use it at the moment. We click on our output window and you'll notice that we have two lines showing where those intersections are and at the start of the lines there's a little exclamation mark. If I click on one of them, it will highlight in the view where the intersection is. The other way to determine where the intersections are are to turn on the model crossing brake lines or X brake line, tile our views, so go to Windows, Tile Vertical, and inside the data input view, if we turn off all our data and just turn on the model X brake lines. Now you can see that this view also is showing our data where we have a brake line and that's because it's being selected by the log window. If we go back to the output window and right click and select deselect current you'll see that will disappear from this view. Okay so we have two crossing brake lines we already know this because we saw it in the report file we saw it in the output window. To be able to determine where these crossing brake lines are we can use the zoom function. If you click on the zoom button or zoom window button and click once with your left mouse button a second time with your left mouse button to draw a square around the, the diamond and then back in plan view number one click a third time 12D will zoom in to that location. The fourth method of locating these crossing brake lines is to actually link the two views together. So inside the data input view if we click on the menu button go to Utilities Auto Sync Plan View and we're going to Auto Sync Data Input with Plan View number one. Don't close this panel down, just move it out of the way. And as we zoom in in View number or View Data Input, you'll notice that the same zooming occurs in Plan View number one. So this allows us to quickly zoom around. If we take a look at our first crossing brake line now, you'll note that we have um, an intersection of the creek and all we want to do is move this point here back to be collinear with this point here. Now there's many options inside 12D we can use to do this but the easiest one or the one we're going to use is to go to strings, points edit, move, we then click on the first point or the point we're going to move and accept it and pick and accept where we would like to place it. Once you've fixed up one of your crossing brake lines, it's a good idea to then delete this diamond. That way if we do have hundreds of them to fix up, we can, we can see which ones have been fixed and which ones still need to be fixed. Once again, there's many options inside 12D to delete something, and we're going to use the options Strings, Delete. And we just pick and accept the string we're going to delete. We can now zoom into the second area where we had a crossing brake line, which is over here, and we can repeat the process by clicking in this panel that we should still have open, move, pick, accept, pick, accept, and then delete the diamond that we no longer require. To ensure that we have actually resolved all of our problems, we go back to our check brake lines panel and just hit check, it should all, all still be filled out for you. We want to replace the existing file. 
you'll note when the new file opens up we have no errors inside of it. So we can close that down, we can finish on the check brake lines panel and we can finish on all these other options.